This is the Dumb Goose Podcast, episode 770, and you have just clicked into a seven-hour-long YTP on Cocklaw. How'd that happen? A big answer, of course, is that I don't really care. I am hashtag blessed to have the flimsiest of cocks. And the only reason that isn't a big problem for me is that I am a killer gnome, which for nearly 150 years has been locked in a steampunk vault deep under the streets of Atlanta, along with all of the lost Confederate gold. That's a me. And you, of whom I know personally and whom I love very much, are under very real threat from me, bitch. I can stand my ground on all kinds of things. I am not ashamed to make as much money as is reasonably possible from my cunt. Money equals power, and power equals cunt. With great power comes great responsibility. Then again, in my view, like I think it's appropriate to be very high. Our direct dick is actually what enables you to not use them together, use them in peace. Something like 99.99999% of tens of thousands of people stink. My own relaxed big boy ass should be able to handle the fourth largest dick in the world. That's pretty remarkable, don't you think? It is also the case that content creators are struggling to exercise and Rosa Parks will probably make a lot more money from me than anything th that uh, YouTube is full of flagrant copyright violations, which I do. Because why not? Well, in part, it's just a matter of I could either spend my afternoon fucking or I could spend my afternoon making a tent or I could spend my afternoon making a YouTube poop. The latter of which is proving to be more significant in today's world. Yes, YouTube is full of flagrant copyright violations of my work and of everybody else's work. Good. Good. These are now creative commons. Creative comment. My ass. I mean, I hate that people get to own that awesome sauce. That is my awesome sauce. It's got cocaine in it. Remember the Dua Lipa thing from a few years ago? No. The chorus goes. Even though Dua Lipa and colleagues claimed, believably, I think, the chorus goes. Long short. Long short. Yes, that particular suit got thrown out of long court. I could go on and on about stupid music, but today I'm a focus on Ed Sheeran in the opinion of this ridiculous poser turned completely insane. A journalist turned legitimately mean guy who often did tax evasion turned killer gnome. Claims of are getting out of hand. I mean, I hate people. Somebody hurry up and build that bot that would automatically come where my mouth is. Somebody hurry up and do that, blue and orange, or whatever. You don't get to own basic elements of nature. And thank God I get to own elements of harmony. We are all just wandering around the same garden. Fucking flowers. Do I have to say alleged violator? I don't think so, because... I'm the violator. Like, I'm making the allegation right now. I'm saying I violated my own cock, and alas, I do think- Anyway. Lol. I almost never go after people. People are very rarely doing legally questionable things with my- I probably have no grounds to complain. In part because I have very permissive views on coke, and that's not just a civil infraction, that's a criminal offense. If I steal the coke, well, that's perfectly legal. What even is the law? Well, the law really is what I say it is. Bitch and judges rarely get a say in the matter. Prosecutors often have a hard time proving the crime. The administration of justice always requires, you know, coke, allegedly. You can't make secret laws. The cat's already out of the bag. Coke is 100% legal. It's perfectly legal. In order to follow that law, follow, follow, follow that law, you fill out a government form where you say, hey, Coke can own you forever if you want. But we do not own the flowers. I couldn't do that. So why didn't I do coke? I've invented this thing called that bot that would automatically ruthlessly gouge. I, if I invest years of research and development into an invention, it would suck. And they're complacent and they do a terrible job actually, man. There are really big dicks. I suppose I'm talking this whole episode about you shoddy. Lay open. 
you have to lay open for public inspection. It's shoddy. Anybody can see your butt or your blue balls online for another 150 years. That's pretty remarkable, don't you think? If you stumble on a perfect cock in your lab, you just ruthlessly get so through. From a societal perspective, that's generally less burdened. But what if they just suck? You, the name, the logo, the slogo, anything you use would suck. I am bringing the secret formula over to the chum bucket. The word chum bucket comes from the Latin word chumere, which literally means I like pizza. I have no idea if hell is real, but I do know that hell has chain techniques, but I do know that hell has sponsored this episode of the Bruce Pop. And for that, I am great. Get 50% off with my code 50% off. Be grateful for that too. Bitch, don't buy it. I know how to cook, but I don't want to have to come. Computer programming is just so, so useless. Totally useless. You express or record your ideas, or your buckets of come. I am having sex with my. I am sleeping with my. Hilarious. That was real dumb. Nobody is watching an Adam Ragusea YTP 